Hello everybody, it's Amy from Making Space. I hope you had a lovely weekend. So I have got another really fun activity um, for you all to try at home this week. This is very much a kind of family friendly, um, young child kind of activity. So I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to show you how to make these brilliant um, silhouetted moon um, pictures. Um, so I've done a couple of examples because I know that's always really nice to start off with. So the first one here is this unicorn um, silhouette. And then the second one here, you can see is a little rocket um, launching as well. So they're really easy to do. Um, if you're a particularly young child doing it, you're gonna need some adult help because we are gonna be using a craft knife. Um, you can see here, this was the um, template that I cut out for the unicorn one. And here's, let me just grab it from over here. Here's a template that I cut out for the rocket one. So this is the fiddly part, the cutting out. So adults, you're going to have to help with this bit, but then children, you can do the fun part, which is the splatting of the paint. So I'm going to move those all out of the way, and then I'll talk you through all the stuff you need, and then we'll get started. So let's pop these examples up here. So the most important thing you're going to need is we're going to be working on black card today. Um, I've just got this kind of off cuts of black um, paper, this, no, it's thick, sort of between paper and card sort of thickness, um, just from an old sketchbook. Um, if you've not got any, what you can do is you can paint some white paper or white card or a canvas black first, let it dry and then go from there. But I think it needs to be on black paper because it's supposed to be kind of silhouetted against the kind of the moon and the sky. So black card. Then you're also going to want some um, just other coloured card it doesn't have to be coloured it can be plain white it can be whatever you can get your hand on but this is what you're going to use to make your templates from then you're going to need some paints and um, whatever you can get your hand on at home really I'll pop a link up um, to some that you can buy online poster paint is perfect um, then you're going to need so you're going to need some brushes now I've got these stippling brushes which are quite nice um, but if you've not got um, a brush like this you can just use an old toothbrush works really well um, even just quite a thick brush but you want it quite um, stiff the bristles because you're going to kind of flick the paint off of it um, you might want to get just like a um, sort of wooden stick this is like a wooden skewer that I'm going to use you're going to need a craft knife um, a cutting mat um, to protect your table. I'm also going to use this as a protective covering when I do the paint splattering, but you might want to grab some newspaper or some kind of plastic sheeting to put down whatever you've got to hand. And then you might also need a ruler, um, a pencil and a pair of scissors, but um, ruler and scissors aren't essential. I didn't use them, but you might find you need them. Then a couple more things. You're going to need um, some form of palette. Um, I'm just using a Tupperware lid because I can rinse it off afterwards and that's fine. If you've got a proper palette, brilliant. If not, a bit of cling film stretched over a, a chopping board, um, a glossy magazine cover, anything like that, just so you can kind of stipple and get the paint onto the brush. And something round to trace round. Um, I'm just using this half of an embroidery hoop, but whatever you've got, a bowl, um, you know, a plate, um, anything really. So that's it, that's everything we need. So I think we're ready to get started. So let's clear some space on my desk. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down this black bit of paper to the size that I want my finished piece to be. Um, so because mine came from a notebook, I'll just wait for that to focus again. So let me just, there you go. I'm just going to cut off this edge where it was in like a ring binder. And um, I'm using a metal rule just because I think it's easier um, to cut with a knife with. Um, but if you've just got plain black paper, you won't need to do this stage. So we're just going to cut off that excess. And then what have we got? Let's try and make it roughly square. 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Again, let's just cut off that excess. Okay, so we've now got our canvas that we're going to be using, that we're going to be kind of colouring in. So let's pop that to one side. Now we need to make our stencil up, uh, which we're going to cut from. So I'm going to grab another bit of card, blue this time. Let's turn it over. 
Then you're going to grab whatever circular item you've got, pop it in the middle of the paper. This is really important. I know normally we sort of say, um, you know, try and go to the edge, but you really want it in the middle this time because um, you're going to have to use this um, to sort of cover up the backing paper. So draw a circle and obviously this page has got to be about the same size as your um, black. So you can see mine's a tiny bit smaller, but that'll be fine. Um, so what we're going to do then is we're then just going to cut out the circle from here. Ideally, you'd want this exactly the same size or if not slightly bigger than your the black paper that you're using as your backing. Um, but because we're just kind of making doing with what we've got at home, that'll be fine for the demonstration. Um, you can see I just keep twisting the paper around. My hand with the knife in is hardly moving at all. And it's staying in a nice straight line and my hand that's holding the paper is always staying out of the way. Okay, there you go. So you've now got your black background. You've got your bit over the top, which ideally, like I said, will be a bit bigger. That covers up most of the paper, so that's fine. And now we need to think about what's going to go inside um, our, our circle. Um, and I've tried to do things that you might see um, kind of at the moon, against the moonlit sky. So rockets, magical unicorns. Um, I think I'm going to do a bat this time. So a good way, and sort of without wasting your... Um, paper you can either draw your design again and cut it out from here but you are going to want a blank one of these as well so luckily i've already cut one so exactly the same size so you're going to need one whole circle and then your design so we'll cut the design out from this one because you'll be able to see it so a bat Keep your shapes quite simple, especially if it's the first time you're doing it. And should we make it into a bit of a vampire bat? Let's give it some horns. Um, simple shapes work quite well, and I think for the first attempt, quite sensible. So that's our little vampire bat shape. So now we're going to cut this one out. Can you see that one there? Let's see if we can focus again. Okay. Okay, so let's find our craft knife. I popped it. There we go. And then you're going to cut this out. And again, keep turning the paper. Keep that hand out of the way. And what you need is you need the whole shape cut out as a whole. So um, let me just make this. So basically all the background is going to come away and you just want the shape of the, the animal or the object that you're, you're going to do is the centrepiece. So everything else you can just cut away. Okay, just quickly cut this out. And like I said, this is the bit when you kind of really need someone with an, ad an adult or someone that's a little bit more experienced with a craft knife just to do this part of the activity. Get those horns in there. Oh, just miss that a little bit there. Okay, and we've got our bat. So, now we're ready to start. So what we're going to do, make sure you always um, retract the blade um, before you kind of pop it away, because you don't want any accidents. Let's clear all the rubbish away, so you've got a nice clear workstation. So what you should have when you're ready to start, you should have your piece of black background card, your main sort of template, which has got a hole cut in it, a plain circle, which doesn't really help with being black, actually, I should have done it in another colour, but it will work for the demonstration purposes, and your um, sort of little cutout shape that's going to go in the middle. So, you can do this in a few ways when you start adding the colour, and I'll show you here. So this one here, you can see, I've just done kind of the outline of a moon, which is the speckled bit, and I've left the rest of it black, which looks quite nice. But you can also do two different colours, which I've done in here. So I've done more yellow and white in the moon, and then I've done kind of blue um, and white kind of in the background. So I'm going to show you how to do this one because it's a little bit more complex. 
Um, but if you just want to do the first one, you can stop at stage one. So I'll show you how to do both. So for stage one, place it over and tell you what I'm going to do. Just tear up a bit of card. I'm just going to pop that under there just to protect that back bit that because my top sample is not quite big enough okay and then we'll put our bat in how we want it to go so make sure it's in the position where you want it to go make sure you're happy with that um, and now you can start adding the color which let's be honest is the fun part so get whatever you're going to use as your palette so in my case my tupperware lid and then we're going to squeeze out a little bit of paint now start with a little bit don't need a lot um, and then you can always add more if you need more add more but we don't like wasting paint so pop a little bit out to start off with and then see how you go if you need more add more then you're going to grab one of your brushes okay so if you're doing a paintbrush you can use your fingers and actually you could use your fingers on this as well you can see my paintbrushes are quite dusty you can just kind of use your paintbrushes and sort of spray it that way um, but if you want to try and stay a little bit tidier you can this is when you use the wooden stick so dip your brush in the white paint and then use your brush to then flick so you see i'm kind of pulling the brush over the wooden stick and that's helping me get my flicks of white paint now don't worry about getting bigger dots and smaller dots i think that's quite nice uh, when you look up at the night sky the stars are all different colors so i think it's quite nice um it can be a bit messy so you may want to pop your kids in um apron or messy clothes or art shirt whatever you've got at home um yeah just be aware that obviously because because you're spraying the paint it can go everywhere <laughs> Now you want to make sure you get quite a good coverage so it's nice and bold um, and if you're getting too much on your brush just kind of pull it off and then carry on that's where I'm kind of getting the bigger dots but like I said I don't really mind the bigger dots sort of every now and again but you really want to make sure you get lots of white color around the edge of your design and also the edge of the circle because that's what's going to really make your shape stand out against the black background and like I said this bit is the really fun bit so this is the bit that kids and adults alike <laughs> really enjoy doing okay so you can see I'm going all in on the white first I'm getting quite a good coverage on the white and then I'm going to add some yellow on top once I'm happy with that so just pick off that excess again you do get quite a build up on the stick just because you're scraping it off okay so I think that's enough white so let's add some yellow and you're going to do you can either swap brush or you can just carry on mindful of that big dollop that was just about to drop off and like I said if you get a big big drip don't worry about it you know, these aren't supposed to be perfect they're supposed to be fun pictures that you've had a go at home so and I think it's quite nice doing the difference between the yellow in the middle and the blue on the outside because it um, just it just shows up the color and it kind of helps it look a little bit more like maybe the moon in the middle and then the night sky around the background okay so I'm not adding as much yellow as I am white but I'm trying to get a good even coverage okay I think that's probably enough so I will show you at this stage and then I'll show you what you want to do if you want to add them all so let's just take these little you can see I hardly got any on those bits, so it probably wouldn't have mattered if a few dots had done on them. So if we pull that one off, you can see we've got the really clear moon outline, which is really cute. And then if we just use, oh, very carefully, lift that bat shape up, you can see you've got a really nice clear outline there of the bat from our template. And obviously these bits you can use, card making, other collages, don't throw those bits away because they're still really lovely. 
So if you want to do the two tone in the background, this is when you need your clear um, extra circle. So what you're going to do, and you can wait for this to dry in between, um, because it's a demonstration, I'm not going to worry about it. What you want to do is just pop it over the top. That's pretty much in the middle. I'm happy with that. And then this time I'm going to squirt out a little bit of blue. And we're going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to do lots of blue. And I'm going to focus it around the edge of the moon and then sort of more concentrated and then we'll fan out. And I'm going to do dark blue and then I'm going to add some white in there and add some lighter shades as well. And this is the part when you need something protected on your table because you're going to be coming off the edge. So you don't want to do this on your best dining table because you will end up getting paint all over it. I'm aware this probably, oh, you can just about see it on the, on the video. Oh. Okay, then let's put a little bit more white in and try and get a mid colour blue if I can get the lid off. And again, you can see I'm not squirting out a lot on my palette at all. And this kind of combination of colours looks great because it really does look like the kind of the night sky and the Milky Way and all the kind of patterns that you, you see when you look up. And also, it's a lovely effect because you're never going to get the same um, picture twice. You might get something similar, but you'll never get exactly the same, which I think is great in art. Okay, so you can see we're just building up that colour, using up the paint that's on our palette so we don't waste it. I told you it was spray everywhere. <laughs> oh, again, careful of big dollops that form on your stick. And a little bit more, and I think we're done. So I'm just going to do a tiny bit of blues, make sure we go right into the corners. Lovely. So all of your paint palette you can just rinse out under cold water and then we can then just lift up this top bit and you've got your finished design. Again, these bits keep them, they're you know lovely for collage, but you can see you've got a really lovely pattern where you've got the yellow in the middle where the moon is and then the kind of blue splattered out from the other side. And that's it, that's the activity. Super simple, really easy to do, but really effective. Um, any time of the year, but obviously, of course, you can do things, um, you know, around Halloween, it's great for, um, we just had the rocket launch, so it's really nice, but you can see they're just really lovely um, little artworks that you can make at home. Um, so that's it, I hope you have a go, I hope you enjoyed the activity tutorial today, um, and if you have a go, as always, please, please, please send us um, your creations, um, we want to make a whole lockdown gallery um, of kind of artwork you've made, so yes, yeah, send it over, we, I want to see what you've been making. Okay guys, I'll see you later, take care then, bye bye.